www.desibets.com. Hi, I'm Neela from NG Saris and you're watching DesiBlitz.com. Hi, I'm Sheetal and you're watching me on DesiBlitz.com. Good day, this is Terry Marty and you're watching DesiBlitz.com. Well, today's about Asian Fashion Summit and British Asian Fashion Week and uh, the team and I uh, had a vision to bring together all of the important uh, up-and-coming designers and put out a platform out there that sort of represents the three wardrobe concept. At British Asian Fashion Week, we know that we're British and we're Asian, so we have this Western wardrobe, and we also have this um, more traditional one. But in recent years, there's been this fusion, this what I call the third wardrobe, and British Asian Fashion Week is here to celebrate all the designers that create that, uh, that kind of stuff. For you, who is your favourite British Asian fashion designer? I don't have a favourite one. I think they all bring different things to, to the design itself. They all bring different different twists, different turns. It's yeah. brilliant. Oh. They actually know. Neela. And this is my second um, collection. I started last year, my debut collection. And my collection is kind of South Indian in, in root, but it has a twist to it. So in fact, a lot of my customers are North Indian, let's say. Um, but I've tried to bring something different to the table. The reason I started was I wanted to give people a different way to shop for saris and to really enjoy it. So the best way to do it is to start designing. And then last year I, I sort of got my money together, got my investment together and just had the guts basically to invest in a whole load of fabric that I sourced, find really good embroiderers and put something together. And it was quite eclectic. People seem to take to it well and that's why I'm making a second collection now. Asian fashion is always evolving. It's so evolved because it's absorbing all sorts of things from like young people buying, buying into black culture and there's all sorts of uh, interesting influences that come from elsewhere depending on where you grow up, right? The Britishness in us is always going to be there because it's not really going to turn into a position point where we wear kurtas all the time. You know, you want to swag out with some, maybe a hoodie or something. And so if there was a kurta pajama, if there's a designer out there that could make a kurta pajama with a hood, that would be cool. I'll, I'll buy that. So Sheetal, what kind of response have you received about the British Asian Fashion Week so far? It's been a really positive response. I think uh, the British Asian industry needed a fashion week that would segregate autumn, winter, spring, summer, uh, besides sort of enhance on bridal, because British Asians do design uh, garments that are not bridal. And I think it's really important for people to um, kind of accept the fact that we do follow seasonal changes. We do follow uh, autumn, winter, spring, summer. And I think if we enhance this, our industry will grow. British Asian fashion is growing from today. We, I've interacted with about seven designers and unfortunately today I've had so many designers that are doing prep, that are doing amazing prep work, have come to me now. So come September, it's going to be absolutely amazing, full of British Asian prep designers and I'm really, really looking forward to showcasing what British Asians can really do and get into mainstream. The most nicest thing about the, the catwalk was the fact that we saw designers and uh, fashion pieces and garments that we wouldn't necessarily see on, uh, for example, uh, mainstream or uh, larger Asian catwalk shows. And it was nice to get the um, Asian side as well as, for example, Colours of India had, a, had sort of like a Western slash Eastern element um, and also have that bridal slash ready to wear kind of edge on things. And that's really nice to see because there isn't a lot of British Asian ready to wear garments. Do you think that fusion is the future of British Asian fashion? Um, definitely. Um, we attended the Asian Fashion Summit today as well and that was a big part of the discussion there and it was something I definitely voiced there that there needs to be a lot more uh, fashion. I'd certainly class myself as British as, uh, as much as I class myself as Asian um, and every blouse we featured was backless or share or had some sort of working on the back and it's because I, I kind of want that Indian woman to not be as traditional anymore. What can fashion lovers expect from the British Asian uh, Fashion Week in September? Some serious London Fashion Week style catwalks from designers that you won't even know are British Asian. Did you know the top two designers in Zara are actually Asian? 
What are your expectations from British Asian Fashion Week? Um, I expect to see some amazing fashion out of this. I expect to see something evolutionary, something that will not only appeal to the Asian market but to everybody. Um, I expect to go to my friends and say, you need to get on board, you need to buy these designers' loaves.